Giselle, do you have a similar uh, opinion on that, that it's just a lack of exposure and proper information that's reached them that's usually having this be not a fully on board issue? Currently, polling is around 51%, at least here in America, in terms of UBI. What do you think is some of the hangups that people need to get over relatively quickly? Joel, I started talking about this when Gerald converted me back in 2008 in response to the recession. Um, it was clear to me that there weren't any more bootstraps in this country and people were at fault for having, you know, collapsed economically. It was the system that made them do it. I mean, it wasn't their fault. It was the system's fault. And I started... Um, in my day job or what I've been doing for 21 years um, is um, education reform or transforming education. And I've gone to any number of conferences and when I was first introduced to this topic, I would talk to people about it. And I have the same reactions then as I do now, but they're more sophisticated now. I mean, more people, they didn't know what I was talking about, so I had to explain first of all. But the first thing I said was totally everyone understood was the robots are coming. When I said the robots are coming, there wasn't one person who argued with me, not about the timing, but for sure they knew the robots were coming. But the three objections that I continue to get from, from people, uh, and, and the, the first one is how we're going to pay for it. Well, I mean, there are many different ways to pay for it, and we can pay for wars with trillions of dollars worth of money on wars. We can. It's just a matter of political will. Yeah. It's not a matter that we don't have money. We print Money isn't money anymore. It's just yeah. <laughs> digital, not, right? There is no money. 8% yeah. of money is actual cash that people carry in their pocket. The rest of it is all digits. So the money, so that, that, that's an easy one to get. The second, which is harder, is, well, people are going to stop working and they're going to get lazy and they're going to watch TV all day and, you know, that, that. First of all, then ask them, would you stop working if you were getting a, a no. $1,000 a month? The other thing you say to them is, you know, you would be getting a $1,000 a month too. What would you do with it? Never mind those lazy people who are going to stop working. Yeah. What would you do with a thousand? It's everybody gets it, right? Which is the key thing about the universalism of this. You know, we got social security passed because a doctor in California by the name of Dr. Tongson in 1932, I think, before it passed, started a, 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 a like clubs that eventually got two million people involved, mm -hmm. all writing to their Congress people, demanding support for old people. And, and finally, and they wanted a lot more than what's and, and no contribution. So they eventually, I mean, you know, the, the legislators eventually absorbed this and made it into Social Security. But it was a, it was a grassroots movement who got the idea out. But the most difficult Difficult question to answer, especially in the places I'm, I, I'm, you know, people I know, is the third question, which is, what about the dignity of work? Mm. We are what we do now. We have been since the caves. It's what got us out of the caves and to the industrial revolution and where we are now where you know less people die of hunger and all of the things we know globally but it had also created a whole thing about wanting rather than needing mm. and if we keep wanting and the way we have been we're going to kill this planet i mean think about nine billion people all driving cars. Yeah. It <laughs> boggles the mind, right? So part of the beauty of UBI is to address the dignity of work question, which is really to say we have to divorce who we are from what we do. Hmm. Who, who we are are human beings, and we have to find our way through the human experience regardless of what we do, and listen to this phrase, to earn a living. Earn a living. You're born, 
You are a human being yeah. and you have to earn it. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I think that is very spot on. It really is touching this almost spiritual level of empowerment yes. that you can no longer be just pigeonholed into what do you do for work. I, I certainly feel that very strongly. And when you have 85% of people in this country currently hating their job, I think that's a powerful <laughs> thing to say, uh, that you are not just what you do. And I think it is that pursuitism to know that what defines you is work that really allows us to have almost like a non-traditional caste system uh, in our like country. Maybe it's not formalized by birth like what happens in India, but there are certain professions that we all acknowledge need to get done, help society function, and yet we look down on. And that's really just a wrong way to think about it. Those people are absolute essential key members to our society, and we shouldn't be having and work to find them. May I ensure that those jobs are mostly done by women and have yeah. mostly been done by women. And when a job shifts from being done by men to being done by women, wages go down. And when it goes the other way, wages go up. Hmm. That is so think, think about that. I mean, think about who does the jobs that get the lowest pay in this country. Oh yeah, I, I certainly can echo that. And I also think your point beforehand on, it's just a prioritization matter. It's what do we care about? Do we want to unlock people's uh, sense of personal security through economics or do we want to go blow up more countries? I think that is a very fundamental question. We have the money, it's just how do we want to use it? And it's not like that money when we spent it just poof, disappears, like it's been used. It's going into people's hands and then they're using it again. Like, that's the beautiful thing about having cyclicality in our economy, is it's not like it's just disappearing like a bomb does when you blow it up. It's, uh, it's having more useful effects down the line.